Hi everyone, I'm delighted to share with you the publication of my Animal Oracle deck. I have always been fascinated by animals and nature, and after university I studied scientific illustration and I was painting animals and plants for identification books. I was captivated by the beauty and the details of each animal and I learnt a lot about their lives. But my interest wasn't just in the animals, but also in spirit animals, totem animals and power animals. These are the animals that appear in folklore and in mythology to bring healing, wisdom and guidance to humans. They are the animals that appear in our dreams and meditations and that appear in our lives in unexpected moments. They teach us through their nature, through their actions, but they also walk out of the mists to stand in the middle of our woodland path and to talk to us. We know that we are in the presence of a spirit animal because we feel the deep magic that surrounds them and lies within the moment. My desire for the animal cards was to have realistic images so the animals could turn to you and talk to you. I wanted them to fly out of the cards, to walk out of the cards, to swim out of the cards to be with you. Each animal wears a piece of beautiful jewellery or they have a beautiful object to show you that they are not ordinary animals. I also didn't want the background of the cars to suggest an animal in its natural environment. These are elegant, powerful and mystical animals that live in the kingdoms of magic, myth and legend. And so the backgrounds suggest heraldic totem animal banners or illuminations, perhaps from sacred ancient books on the magic of spirit animals. These spirit animals come to live with us and walk with us in the modern world. And we only have to take a breath and relax to see them and to feel their presence. Specific animals walk alongside us, bringing us gifts of power, insight and healing. And these are our companion animals. And we also have one animal who reflects the gifts and powers that we are born with. And this is our power animal. Both our power animals and our companion animals share our journey, helping us, supporting us and guiding us. In the book accompanying the deck, you'll find some spreads that you can use with the cards to focus on areas of your life where you need help. At the time of writing and illustrating the Oracle deck, I was also writing my first book, Red Moon. And within the Oracle deck are reflections of wisdom that lies across both publications. In Red Moon, we have the image of the womb tree that holds the sacred feminine energies. And around the tree are moon animals, spirit animals that are messengers and holders of the energies of aspects of the four female archetypes. If you look at the back of the deck, you'll see an image of the womb tree. And you'll also discover it in a meditation to meet your totem animal. We can work with moon animals specifically as messengers from the Divine Feminine. Moon animals appear to connect us to the phases of the moon or to the phases of our menstrual cycle. And they bring messages of love and guidance from the archetypal goddesses to help us to heal and to embrace all aspects of our female energies. Those of you who are moon mothers will see the similarities between the three female energy centers and in the book, The Three Kingdoms of Strength wisdom and purity. The spiral path can become a lunar cyclic path of meditation, or it can be a menstrual cycle meditation path through the energies and messages of moon animals. Whether you wish to use the animal cards to read for men or women, 
or you wish to use them as moon animal messengers from the sacred feminine, you can always simply ask, which animal has a message and energy for me today that will help bring balance, harmony and healing to my life? And the animals will respond with, be more Robin, or maybe, be more Lion. And they will show you what that means applied to yourself and to your current life. The nice thing about the animals is that everyone knows something about them. Something from a natural history program, something from a childhood story, maybe something from cultural association. There is no need to learn to read the cards. You already know what a bird is like. You only have to relax and let the animal show you and tell you its message. It's a real joy for me to share these animal cards with you. I love the images and the energies of the animals that surround them. <clears throat> In the modern world of technology, we need a little magic and a little help. I hope you enjoy working with these cards as much as I do.